we are always looking for an established uh, established agent which may be able to prevent this coronavirus infection because development of a new agent usually takes 12 to 18 months right. and therefore while it's too premature and early to say whether this indirect evidence will translate into prevention right. of uh, coronavirus infections trials have already started in fact six trials have already started mm -hmm. of PCG vaccination being given to corona health workers mm -hmm. to, or, or health workers taking care of corona patients mm -hmm. and in patients above the age of 60 to see whether it actually prevents coronavirus infections or actually decreases the severity of coronavirus infections. So I think we're looking at another exciting perhaps area, mm -hmm. perhaps another drug which is already available to us and we have experience of using it. And these trials over the next four to six weeks, so these are not long trials, they're in four to six weeks, they will mm -hmm. be able to tell us whether these drugs can actually prevent mm -hmm. coronavirus infection or decrease the severity of coronavirus infection. One of the effects of PCG, apart from its protective effects, effect on tuberculosis, prevention of tuberculosis, is its basic increase in the immunity, the innate immunity of a human being, of a uh, of a person who gets this and this increase in the immunity actually enables the person who's been inoculated to fight infections and it has been known it has been seen that it has um, a, a, you know it increases the immunity even for patients with uh, virus infections for bacterial infections and this is actually what is being touted as something which is going to increase the uh, immunity against the COVID-19 onslaught as, as of now. Uh, there is no definite evidence. There are studies. There is a study which has started in Melbourne in, in, in Australia, which is in, uh, uh, recruiting over a thousand patients, a thousand people, basically health workers who are working in a hospital in uh, Melbourne, who will be, who have been injected with the BCG vaccine. And the results will be known in about three to four months when we will be able to identify whether it is indeed helpful or not. I think within the next three to four months, they will have some evidence which will probably tell us that the BCG is indeed protective and it is actually supplementing our innate immunity and, uh, and, and preventing the uh, intensity of COVID-19. It's not that it's going to prevent you from the infection. It is going to hopefully going to reduce the intensity, which means that people, whoever suffer, will not have very severe symptoms and the severe disease.